Hannah Gwen Clear? Clear. Hannah Gwen Clear. Hannah Gwen Clear. She was born in Boise, Idaho. President Future. Hmm. Visible and Invisible. For we want to know and we want to know. Did you commit suicide? How did you really die? Which of the girls bullied you? Did you share a room with with victims? Do you know about the murders? What did you see? (laughs) And the God of the Saints will answer our questions for what's hidden and hidden behind darkness. Here we go. This is interesting. You got a weird feeling, huh? Yeah, I got a weird feeling. (laughs) Let's go with the first two for Hannah Gwen Clear. Now, normally when people pass, sometimes, sometimes not if they're still here, still stuck, um, you'll hear no more this, no more that. So get ready for that. Those aren't the ones, the, the big, the long one that you like. Here we go. <laughs> First two coming out. Oof. Crazy. It talks about um, reaching for a new beginning or waiting for a new beginning, uh, stuck behind something that's dark. Like in darkness to a new beginning, like hoping to get a new beginning. There's hope there. And then in the crossing of that, it says because she had to leave, she's left. So this is the way she's kind of explaining it. Uh, it says, but there's triumph. In other words, triumph that, that was around this. In other words, um, there was triumph that she could have had in her life. So these are just the base cards. This is going to get interesting. It says, in her past, she felt that there was real love, like real love in her life, maybe her family, things. Um, and then it says, but in the end, she hung herself. That's Presently, that's where she stands still. That was harsh, right off the get-go. Um, well, I wasn't expecting to see that. All right. And then in the future, it talks about nothing. No discontent, no nothing. Like, still nothing's come of her. Um, so in darkness to, to light, to me, means like, I'm stuck in darkness. She committed, if she, if she committed, I was, I left myself hanging. She committed, then of course she's in darkness until she gets a chance to reach the light. And we'll see when we pull that card out of there. Uh, but it's getting really kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. Then it says in this world, it says there is no justice. Like there's no, there's no justice, no justice for thing. Like she was distraught. Obviously it says friendships, um, that should have brought opportunities. And then it says, and all in the future, hoping to be able to offer love again someday or be able to um, be here in love. It says, upside down now, it says money. And then there's my card and we'll see what that means. And then across that says already in completion. So we'll see what that means because here's a child uh, that comes back, I think, if they're allowed to. I don't know how that would entirely works i know um i know i went down that road um but i didn't i actually make it to completion so i know that there was tons of darkness in my life at that point before it be, there was light um so we'll see how this works out of course i didn't pass um but at least there was still a lot of darkness so here we go from darkness to light it's talking about into a new beginning it says it says hoping to have lovers i don't think she ever I think she was still um, uh, uh, innocent. Innocent, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Innocent. <laughs> um, what, the other one would be um, V. The V card, yeah. You know, I think she was a, she was a virgin when she passed. Um, it says death. Whew. Damn, that was quite. Okay, so that's that's kind of what happened. But it's talking about lovers, and then it says incomplete. Um, so maybe there was someone that she was falling for in love with and that was part of it as well maybe they, they gave her a hard time because of it um because it says somebody left it incomplete it says and that's what finally cuts off her head so it was a culmination i think of things um the vibe i'm getting and the sensation i'm getting from this person because they're like it's like there's this something pushing up my back it's just a weird feeling um in my not in my hips but how do i explain it? the middle of my back is going like this um, like she's trying to say, I want to say something. Um, it's crazy. She's she's saying like there was someone she was in love with, and then maybe they made fun of her. Maybe maybe one of the people that she had a crush on uh, may have been Ethan. It could have been one of the boyfriends. <laughs> you don't know. Um, I don't know. That's just a speculation. But 
It's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. So she's saying, because of the lovers, things were incomplete, and then I finally killed myself. That's what finally cuts off my head. That's what I finally, it finally ends it for me. It says, um, and hoping that there would be no karma. Like, I would be okay because of figure she had suffered. Um, but, of course, there is karma. So it's kind of like a, that's what she hoped wouldn't have happened. What's crazy, she says, I left. And let's see why she says she left. So it's talking about leaving there, okay? Um, it says, I left so I could finally be free. That's interesting. That's interesting. It says, um, free from home. It says, and I was just getting impatient with my life. It says, at that point, um, she says, I just felt like there was no more opportunities for me, no more love, like, no more chances, like, like everything came crashing down. It says, it says, and this, this was all in the past. So this happened quite a ways before, I think, she finally does this. And I think the culmination of it is um, that it looks like she may have been bullied. Um, it says... Um, Around all that was triumph, and let's see what the triumph is. Triumph, you know, there's a person on a horse, triumph, but there's a lot of people watching, and this is where I think they were successful in probably um, harassing her, giving her a hard time. It says um, she shouldn't have had to go through hardship. It says, and she tried to be strong, like be tough through it. It says, but it just turned her upside down. It says, and that's again, she goes back, and those cards fall almost in the same spot each time, where she says, all this was happening, but then I did this. Okay. And she's kind of saying here again, she's saying, and that's what destroyed me. Like, that's what was destroying me. Pattern, so she yeah. She just didn't see things. Uh, how can I put it? You, There's people, Michelle, you, you, you can kind of assimilate. Um, there's people who kind of just don't fit in with everybody. Like, kind of. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> no, but, but I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. You know what I'm talking about. And yeah. that's because when you're younger. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's popular people, super popular people, and there's people who don't really fit in with the popular people for some reason, or the, they don't have the same thought process of, not that's a bad thing, but it's just, the same pegue. yeah, they don't, they don't click up. They don't have the yeah. same common or commonalities, whether it's money or whether it's girls or whatever it is. Um, and I think that was the big thing is that people saw her different. I think different is great because I'm obviously different. So, I mean, <laughs> um, I think it's great to be different. It says, and when she says that I saw things different and that's what kind of hangs me. <laughs> It's just the way the card, it's kind of crazy the way it yeah. pops for it. So it's saying, me not being able to fit in was a big impact on me. Because, you know, when you're in high school in a, in a town, you kind of fit in because they're not really big towns, you know what I mean? And so I don't know, I think she went, was in Boise, she went to high school or something? Yeah, she grew up in Boise. She grew up in home. Boise, so who knows how big her school was or whatever. But everybody kind of, you know, you have friends, you have your own groups. And then you don't think to be a loner in college. Yeah, but it's hard. I mean, the only reason I had friends in college is because I played sports. Yeah, but you, I mean, because they have. Not, friends. I probably wouldn't know anybody. But you, you know, you could make a friend or two. In, right, you I know? agree. I agree with that. Um, so she says that's kind of what leaves her hanging is she doesn't kind of fit in. It says, and at that point, it says there was a man who was kind of nice to her. Like, he was kind of cool with her. Um, but there was a, there's a double edged sword, and you can see the sword, and the double edged sword means. Maybe it was nice to her making fun of her to other like to, in front of other people. You guys have seen movies like that, right? Where like the, what's that movie? Um, she's not all that. Do you guys ever see that with Freddie Prince Jr.? Oh yeah. Where he's being nice to her because of a bet, yeah. um, because she's supposedly not all that, and she ends up being all that. But I'm just saying, um, that's the kind of thing I, I think she kind of feels here. Um, it says, it says, um, and things kind of move forward, like kind of like you know they were cool and stuff. It says, but then um, spiritually, it kind of started turning her upside down. In other words, she knew something wasn't right. Didn't, she was kind of waiting. It says, um, and she didn't have a choice in the matter. She was already, you know, she was already there for whatever happened. It says, um, and she didn't want to let it get to her. Like she didn't want to, she didn't want it, she didn't want to show them that it got to her. You know, you, you try when people are making fun of you or joking with you. And I think it's hard because our group, you got to have tough skin. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have really tough skin in my group because we're horrible. I mean, not in a bad way. Um, we all kind of make fun of each other. We all have fun with each other. Uh, it's really cool. Um, but I think some people, if they feel that they don't fit in and you're still trying to have fun with them and you're always picking on them, um, even though you're, you're not really intentionally bullying them, like Michelle, we pick on Michelle all the time. There's no doubt she could say that we bully her. But oh, then, yeah. <laughs> but then there's, but then there's things that we do to show her we love her. 
And so she can't really say that even if she wanted to. Friday's you know I mean? eating. Friday's <laughs> eating. <laughs> yeah, the Friday. Oh, don't start. Sorry, um, fried chicken. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, guys? So it's kind of saying, um, you know, she tried to show them that it didn't affect her. But you know what happens when you try to do that is you bottle up all these emotions and all these feelings and all these things. And I think that's where she was on edge. Um, she's blaming other people. So let's see where this goes now because now it's going to get really interesting. Because here's a girl here who had money. Uh, and that should be interesting. It says, it says, um, she didn't want to show them that she was discontent. Um, and she never want, and like if she's saying, if I ever get another chance, I never want to show people how they hurt me or they affected me. It says, I want to return. It says, but so far, there's no celebration. Or she wants to come back, be born again. That's an option, guys, when you guys pass. <laughs> she goes, it seems like, it's not true. Like it's lies and deceit or an illusion. Like I'm never going to get a chance to come back. Um, it says, and slowly it says there's no sun. Like she, she's afraid that she's going to be forgotten about. Like she didn't make it because of course of what she's done. And yeah, I don't know where I would have been. I think I would have been in the same place because if I would have passed when I tried to come in, which I'm not condoning by any means, anybody, it's the stupidest fucking thing you could ever do. So don't ever do that. Um, um, it was a big mistake in my life. Um, and I was lucky that God kind of, you know, had a little heart for me. Um, but of course that's why I help a lot of people now. So, but definitely this is something that I think she's feeling. Um, I, I feel her like there's this weird feeling I have. It says in this world, and she talks about in this world, it says she didn't want to lose. She was afraid she was going to lose and, and she ended up losing in the end. And she goes, and even if she would have fought and struggled and complained, um, it says at that point, she says, it didn't matter because she wasn't going to have any, like, um, any options or any, any more people who were really going to care about her. She felt like nobody cared about me. Um, it says, and that's what had her completely upside down. It says, and so, yeah, she's upside down with God. That's not good. So she's not in a good place. Um, so that's not a good place to be. All right, let's see where this goes. It says, um, there's no justice. It's talking about no justice. Like, there's no, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's what it's saying. It says, that was my obstacle. That was my thing. That's that's what bothered me. It says um, sometimes they were cool, sometimes they were mean, uh, but lots of the times, you know, I just try to keep going, and it's just you never knew. It's fifty fifty. It's one of those things. Like you know, when you're the kid that's getting picked on and being shoved in your locker, you don't know if it's going to be every day or what day it's going to be. It's just you never know. It's a yeah. toss up. Um, it says, um, and she tried to defend herself. Like she tried to you know defend herself. It says, but they were so angry. So this card. Is representing one of the one of the girls in the house, an angry woman, and that's what's crazy. Is because everybody talks what? about the angry woman. Yeah, you're right. There's an angry woman. Everyone, everyone in all my things talks about this angry woman, and the woman that I get that's the angry one. I mean, I know you think it could be Dylan, but I think it's Maddie. I think it's it's Madison. I think she was the always angry, or she was the one always like talking shit or, you know, just talking shit to people. So it talks about this angry woman. I try to defend myself against this angry woman, she says. Um, it says, but she would just make a fool out of me. Wow. Um, and that's humiliated her. She says she tried to be friends. She talks about trying to have the friendship. She's trying to tell the story of what happened. Try to be friends with this person. It says, but things wouldn't change. Yeah. It says she tried to act like she was happy. It says, but she felt more alone. It says, and... Maybe because she didn't have as much money as them, or maybe because she wasn't as well. I know her parents weren't not bad. They weren't. They were pretty well off, weren't they? Uh, I don't. Know. I don't know what her parents did, but I know her dad. Come on, I thought he did something. Uh, but it says, you know, maybe because she didn't have the money they did. She says maybe that's why there was no triumph. Um, because when you look back at Kaylee, Kaylee, it says that she had fifty to hundred grand in the bank. I know that she had a bank. And the show Walters, I'm sure uh, John Jack um, was being helped by his parents quite a bit. It's got some money. The parents are I'm doctors. Sure all, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm sure all of the families were probably, you know, because they travel in that circle. And they um, go to a university, so. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a couple people who fit in that maybe are broke and they, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. All right. It says, another girl that tried to be nice to her, it says, and it seemed like things would work, you know, things would be okay. It seemed like, you know, that was going to be a good friend. It says, in the end, rest assured, it says, um, there was two of them, and like they kind of ganged up. It says it was unfortunate. Maddie, so Maddie and Kaylee. It could be Maddie and Kaylee, or it could be Maddie and Dilly. Because Maddie and Dylan were friends too, but 
It says the girl who has money. That's the girl who has money. So that and Maddie and Kaylee were always together. So maybe they gave her a hard time. Um, it says that's interesting. And then here comes another girl on this side. And let's see who that is. Um, talking about being upside down. That might be her. I'll find out right now. Being upside down. And then it talks about uh, money was a big thing. And, and if you think about it, money must have because she had just got a new car. So she had money. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and people, no offense to anybody out there, but there's some people who have money who can be very snooty and can be very um, uppity and... and um, only want people who have money in their circles. Yeah, you know, I traveled in a lot of, you know, I played sports. So, of course, I traveled in a lot of circles where people had a lot of money. There was no way in hell that I had money like them, you know what I mean? But I was accepted because of my sport. This is why I think she wasn't, she didn't fit in. There was no, you know what I mean? She didn't bring nothing to the table. Well, I mean, I don't or think. Or comments and, like, there's a thing. There's no common denominator you're trying yeah. to say? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, I get that too. That can be true. Let's throw on this and let's see. There's my card upside down, which means um, I'm taking the heat for this, so I'm taking the energy from it. I want to see what happens. It says, it says, things came to an end. So things come to an end. It says, when a man who she really liked, a guy who she really liked, it says, and she thought was going to be cool with her and everything, there was a good vibe, good energy. It says, but turns out to be a burden. So the guy who tried to be nice to her was probably the same guy who was, being a dick to her and for some reason just clicking in my head just keeps hitting Ethan for some reason because I don't I look at I look at Jack DeCour and yeah he looks like he could flip out at some point right and he looks like he'd be upset but he doesn't look like the kind of person that's going to bully anyone really maybe, right maybe just crack a couple, couple jokes couple jokes but try to be the funny yeah, guy but nothing, nothing like crazy like that nothing crazy like that but Ethan, I'm not gonna lie, he looks like kind of like he's a Freddy. Yeah, he's a frat boy. He's a frat boy. He's, he's, he's Mr. Cool Guy. I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. And he has to look cool in front of the friends. You guys are with me. You guys are with me. I'm feeling it. Okay. <laughs> so there was hazing going on. Well, I don't know if it's hazing like that in that sense, but still, still, you know, picking. Um, it says, and then that's when it talks about, and then there's there's the card. There's the guy. So that's why it's the guy with money. What if? What if? Nah. Nah. I was thinking John Jack, but nah, I just don't see that. But who knows? That guy was all over the place. So here's where everything becomes complete. Um, this has been an interesting reading. It says, there you go. It says, no problem, though. It talks about going, no problem. I took a different road. She's saying, like, okay, so all this was happening, and I just decided to take a different road. And you look on my cards, and it shows the road with the vultures, and, of course, the road, the road that leads into the green pastures. Um, and so that's kind of a trip. It says she left her family upside down, which is true. It says her mom especially. And then she says, but someday she hopes to return to love. It says broken heart, broken hearted now. It says, but hoping the road opens up. It says, and magically things will change for her. It says she doesn't want to be in hell. There's the wow. devil. <laughs> so if you guys wondered, if you, and that's what I've always been terrified about is when I did do what I did. I was scared that I would probably be in hell for the rest of my life. Um, and then I've gotten to experience certain things with different spirits that um, I have a pretty good awareness of what's there. Um, and I've been there in a sense. So I'm kind of glad um, that I prayed my ass off as I was dying and I got saved. Uh, it says, it says not, she doesn't care about the money. She still doesn't care about the money. She doesn't, she doesn't care about the money. She just wanted to fit in. She wanted to be able to master her life. That's what she's saying. She wanted to be able, because this is the card for mastery or for a brujo, but this is, doesn't apply. So it's saying mastery. In other words, she couldn't manage her life anymore. She couldn't master. She couldn't overcome everything. She, she wasn't happy. She wanted the normal college experience and says she got bullied. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. That's a really good way to put it, guys. Um, and it's sad. It's really unfortunate because it says, and that's what brought her to her knees. See, she wasn't able to master life. Um, and I was just thinking about that today when it came to that kid. Um, it's kind of sad. It says, and so now you guys see things clearly. That's some shit. Wow. <laughs> that was a deep, deep, deep reading. Um, I mean, if you, if, if maybe the parents didn't want it to look like, of course, nobody wants, you know, I don't think my mom would have wanted people to know I committed when I tried. I don't think anybody wants to see that with their kid. Um, so it's so, really sad. So how does she... You know, how did she commit? Indeed. 
Oh, she really did OD? Yeah, she OD'd. She knew what she was doing. She OD'd. 